Hello and welcome everybody. Further to the video that we did at Auto Mechanica at the Birmingham NEC last week, we were one of the first to see the new XC uh, from Flex. This is the predecessor. This is what we call colloquially the VRG. It's 900 watts, uh, about 8 mil throw, and it's a forced rotation. So that means it orbits like a DA, but it's got the twisting power of a rotary. And a lot of guys like it. The only thing that's curious about it is it spins in the opposite direction from other machines. Um, which, the, wrong, the wrong direction. The wrong direction, right. according to yeah. detailed Ian here. Um, and the new one does exactly the same. So if you're used to the current VRG, you're going to love the new one. Tell us about the new one here. New one, you come in two formats. You've got the corded one, which is fantastic, I find. Uh, you've also got this uh, handy little cordless one, so you can walk around the car without dragging a uh, extension cable after you. And what's really interesting is Flex are kind of pretty much at the foremost of battery tech when it comes to poly machi polishing machines. Um, and with their rotary and their DA machines, we are big fans of the battery powered devices mm -hmm. because they are just as powerful really uh, as the mains powered and they last perfectly long enough to do what they need to do. Um, the idea that people will sit down and have their machine on permanently for two hours, well, frankly, there aren't many who will be doing that. Um, no, low, I mean, no low time on this, for example, is quoting the book at being 40 minutes on a 5 amp hour battery. So that's a decent run time. And if you've got two batteries on them go, that's plenty of time for them to charge up in between. Absolutely. Now, one thing needs to be said, because as you'll see from the cutscene, we've done some playing around with these. Um, we have been given these as pre-production prototypes, so these are not exactly as they will appear. It's similar to when uh, we did the uh, replacement, what was the machine? Or the XFE. The XFE, uh, where we had some earlier versions without balancer shafts and with balancer shafts, and we found that actually the initial machines needed improvement, but by the time we got the kind of finished object, we were pretty impressed. Uh, it's the same deal with these machines. So what we're saying applies to these actual machines, and by the time it gets to full production, we might have found the issues have been, have been sort of worked out. I fully expect they will be. Um, and what we found is, with the um, battery machine, the mains machine is brilliant. You, you're a huge fan of this, aren't you? I really like that. Really do like it. And in terms of vibration, it's... Much lower, much quieter, much nicer to handle. It's a bit of a shorter body on it. Um, I've always been a, bit, been a big fan of the VRG, but this is... They've obviously put a lot of tech into this, a lot of a step up. As well, so. so it's definite evolution and everybody seems to like it. Now the battery one, the only issue we had, and we'll do um, a quick cut scene with the speed setting on it, is that we've noticed there's, it's got less go, less torque than the mains powered one. It feels like it does, so I, I haven't got anything to physically test that uh, empir empirically, but mm -hmm. it, it certainly feels this one is a much torquier, much, much more powerful machine. Um, that does mean it's going to work any any less hard for you, you should have to use it slightly differently, maybe run this one a little bit slower when you're running on a panel physically with your arm speed, so it has the time to do the work that the corded one can do. But again, that could just be a pre-production um, quirk. quirk yes. Absolutely. And what's interesting is, if I have these two alongside each other, is the different speeds. So they've both got six speed settings. Uh, speed setting one on the corded device starts at 140 uh, rotations a minute, I suppose that's orbits per minute. Oh, it seems like. um, and then on speed setting one, it's 280 on the battery. So the battery starts faster. However, at the other end of the scale, at speed six, this is 430, whereas this at speed six is 440. So this starts slower and ends faster, so potentially giving you a greater range. Best of range for it, and you can uh, definitely detect the difference in, I mean, we'll show on the video, and on the little cut scene, how differently it moves up through the speeds. It's got a lot, fur a lot further to go, it's got further to go, so it does go up in a definite curve, whereas this is more of a, a straight line, not to 60 as it were. Yeah, the best analogy I can produce from, from the sounds and listening and feeling them is that this one literally feels supercharged. If you've ever driven a supercharged car, it just kind of goes builds and builds and builds, it's quite exciting. See, I, I see it as this one gets gradually more excited, so it starts out and goes, Ooh, that one, that one just goes completely mental straight up. Oh, okay, so that's an alternative opinion on those. Um, less car related. Less car related. Um, still valid. Still okay. valid, absolutely. Um, so as you'll see from the cutscenes, we've done lots of playing around with these. Uh, we both think they're valid. We're really looking forward, particularly with the battery one, to see the final item. So um, at the moment, we've got these, what I've put just as concerns over these quirks, but we think they're going to be pre-production. 
um, and we'll be talking to Flex who've asked us to give some proper feedback to them, so we'll be doing that. Um, and this mains one, given that the VRG has probably got the greatest reputation as just the hard work in terms of correct, correcting paint quickly and kind of effectively, mm -hmm. this, this has got the kind of the workhorse reputation, if you like, yes. this has got the pulling power. Um, and so it is uh, much loved by many, many detailers. And it's a strange polarizing tool. Some detailers dislike the way that it goes in the opposite direction and can't cope. Others wouldn't be without it. And I suspect the same will be true with these second generation machines, but they're well worth trying. Uh, the only competition out there is going to be the Rupes Mille mm -hmm. and the Vertool, the is the Vertool as, well. Um, as well. So the Vertool is the budget option. The Rupes is a kind of a, a direct competitor with these. Well, it's showing the joy of market forces. So. Flex have been running around with their VH VRG for ages and there was nothing out there really to compete so they didn't need to improve it. Millet bring out and up the game, uh, or rather Rupes bring out the Millet to up the game and then that's more or less forced Flex hand to up the game again. So thanks to this competition between these two vast, brilliant sort of technical engineering companies, uh, we're all getting better tools. So we rather like that sort of dichotomy between the two. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, uh, worth mentioning as well, the VRG is being phased out as a result of the new machine coming out, but you will still be able to get an old VRG until the end of the year. They're still a very worthwhile machine to have, um, depending on what the, what the price difference is when it just finally goes out, I'd still go for one of the, the new models. Absolutely. But it's still going to be available. Indeed. And prices are yet to be announced? Uh, prices have been announced, I can't remember off the top of my head, so I'm sure we'll put it onto the screen. We'll put it on the screen. In post edit. Indeed. So that'll be fun. Anyway, thanks very much for watching.